Hey, welcome back. I'm John Tabler, and in the last video, I showed you how to make sourdough bread in less than five minutes, actually to prepare it and get it ready to go in the oven. Now, it does have to sit overnight, and it has done that for 12 hours. So, just to show you the total time that it takes, once again, once we have that done, it's ready to put into the oven. So what I'm going to do, I've had the oven preheating to 500 with the Dutch oven in there. Now, once again, you don't need a Dutch oven. You can actually use a baking sheet and put olive oil on it and stick that in there uh, with the bread on it. And it'll work fine with a little bit of um, water in there in a, in a pie pan. But if you have this Dutch oven, that baby is hot right now. There's a lot of heat coming out of that oven. If you have a Dutch oven, it keeps the moisture in and bakes that bread really quickly. So I'm going to hold that in there for just a second, that heat. And I'm going to take a piece of parchment paper, which is really a simple thing to do, uh, to use this compared, compared to... Um, putting it in there otherwise. Sometimes I would do it uh, without and, and put a little olive oil around that pan. And when I drop that dough into there, it would kind of get cockeyed, but it would settle out and the bread would come out just fine, no matter. I've just found it really easy to do with parchment. So that falls out of the bowl, pull that off, comes off really easily from the flour bean on there. And so what I will do First, I'm going to take that lid off. You want to be really careful because that thing is hot. Now, I'm going to pick this up and just simply put it down into there. Now, this time, this loaf isn't as big as my last one because I just didn't use as much flour. If you use about five cups of flour, which I don't really measure, but if you use five cups of flour, it will create a loaf that's a pretty good size. Um, but... I just quit doing it because the best thing for me is to just pour that dough or that um, flour into the bowl and your loaf is just going to be a little bit bigger than the ball that uh, you, you get done making once you put the water in there. I'm going to score this top. That's so that when it bakes, as it expands, the crust can expand. Just need to put a couple lines in the, in the top. And once that's done, Put that lid on, open that door, and in it goes. So that's simple. I look at the clock, I'll come back in 20 minutes, take that lid off, and bake for another 15, 20 minutes, and it will come out, and I'll show it to you then. Really simple. On a normal day, you make that bread in about four minutes a day previous, uh, set it up to ferment. You don't spend any longer than that putting it in the oven. Go about your business and do uh, things that you need to get done. And then come back and take it out and your bread's done. It takes very little time. So I'll be back shortly and show you exactly what it, how it's coming along, what it looks like. Okay, we're back and we're right around 21 minutes right now. So we're going to take the lid off. So I'm going to take my heavy duty dish towels and you want something really heavy duty because that lid is hot or you can use a, a glove for an oven. So I'm going to open this up and feel that heat come out. Yeah. I'm going to pull that out so my hand doesn't hit the top of the oven. That would not be good. We take the lid off and it is coming along nicely, really nicely. And that's it. Push it back in. Don't burn yourself mark the time and we're going to be right at probably about 40 minutes by the time we're done but i'll come back and check it from now on after about 15 minutes want that crust golden brown but not too not too brown to where it starts to get too dark and it'll be done so be back in a bit okay we're back and right now we're right at about 40 minutes so we're going to take that bread out of there now, I've been baking it at 500 the entire time, so let's see what it looks like. You want to make sure to use some really thick dish towels 
or an oven glove and it is looking fantastic I'm gonna get that out of the pan and put it on a rack now last time I used something if you find something around you have around the house I used a, a, a pan like this and set that loaf on top of there so it could cool but a cooling rack is a great thing to have it uh, it keeps it up off the surface and is big enough so that you can set most any bread on there now you want to be really careful when you lift this out you don't want to touch the side of the Dutch oven because it is hot I'll set that right on there and pull that paper out of the way and it looks fantastic it's a nice it's it's hot <laughs> but it's a nice golden brown and I'm gonna let that cool and we'll come back and cut into that you always want to turn your oven off right when you get done as a habit so <laughs> you don't forget that but that bread cooked at 500 the entire time so didn't make any difference on that temperature the main thing is we just want to keep this really simple and really easy and so once we put that in there come in take the lid off after 20 minutes and come back another 20 minutes and it looks just like that we'll see what it looks like inside and then we'll see what it tastes like okay we're back now and this bread is actually cooled now so i'm going to cut into it uh, we can see how it came out inside this was made really really quickly and it's just about like the last the last loaf really came out pretty nice now not all the breads will come out uh, as perfect as other ones but you got to remember one thing with this with this um, flour is that it has the entire wheat kernel in it so the bran is in there also and you got to kind of think bran muffins a little bit because it, the, it it's much different than a very light flour you can use a sifter and sift the bran out but you're going to miss out on the nutrition that's in the bran and for me the very best tasting um, flour is whole wheat flour with all of it in there and so it's going to get a lot more uh, air bubbles and pockets in there the lighter the dough is uh, the more heavy it is it's going to have less but the nutrition is all there in any case and you can make that really quickly you put butter on that just as good as any other bread that I've ever had that I made myself they're all great you slice this up and make a sandwich off of it and it's tremendous so this has been a bit of a recap but I wanted to show how fast you can do that and start utilizing uh, that in your daily diet and enjoying the benefits of it and how quickly and easily it it's done now I also want to show the starter from yesterday it actually is done now you remember that I added a little bit more into the top of it and uh, covered it and set it aside uh, you can you can take a spoon and taste it if you want it's fully sour and so once it really has gotten to that point you can put it in the fridge and and uh, let it stay there until you're ready to use it so that's done that's how simple that was well, you know really everyone needs to get this in their diet so many people are depleted of nutrients and are sick and are on medications really a lot of the problems that people have nowadays is because they're malnourished if you don't give someone the nourishment they need it's going to manifest in their body and really in really uh, negative ways over time and so as you begin to get the nourishment that you need unlock the nourishment uh, with fermentation you really begin to enjoy health and which allows you then to enjoy life and the benefits are tremendous so this really needs to get out there uh, the more likes I get the more 
they'll send it to everyone youtube will and so please give me a, a like below and subscribe and also comment on what you think about this and also i want to hear about your first attempts uh, at doing this and they're going to be more than an attempt you're going to pull it off you're going to eat you're going to enjoy it and it's going to open up the world for you um, with cooking and recipes and i look forward to the next video and look forward to uh, showing them to you and seeing you back here